Hello, Pastor Don here. This is Wednesday morning, uh, February the 17th. This is Ash Wednesday. And uh, in just a little while, we'll be holding an Ash Wednesday service. I hope that uh, you'll be able to be here. Uh, we will be doing it in a different way today. Uh, we will be providing ashes, but we will not impose them uh, by touch. We will have packets of ash that uh, you can take home and apply them yourself. Uh, this is the first time we've ever done something like this, but uh, we certainly don't want to compromise our safety by um, touching. So uh, I hope you can participate in this. And uh, at the same time, during our service, we will make available, as we have for the last several years, a hard-cut nail for you to take for your Lenten um, pilgrimage. Uh, the idea being that if you uh, keep that in your, your touch, keep it uh, available to you just to remind you of just how hard and sharp sin is in our lives. Uh, and use it as a reminder to pray, to ask for God's forgiveness. And then again, when we approach uh, Good Friday, we will hold a service that uh, invites you to bring that nail, bring that symbol of your sin, and place it in the cross of Christ as a symbolic um, effort to give our sins over to him so that on the cross, as he dies, he takes those sins with you. So uh, our season of Lent is underway, and we uh, we'll be providing you on a daily basis uh, these daily devotionals that will be focused on uh, the Psalms and uh, the penitential Psalms in, uh, in particular, such that we can focus our uh, efforts on our own sins and our own need to repent. And also, uh, each Wednesday, we will do a, a video devotion with specific Lenten devotional materials uh, for you to use. Uh, that same material will be put on our website so that you can go to it and uh, download it or follow it. Uh, our website again is rockofagesLutheran.com and it should be uh, located on the front page of, of the website. I want to thank you all who were able to come to the annual meeting this past Sunday. It went smoothly. Uh, we passed a budget. We elected some new council members. And um, there was an annual report distributed that uh, summarized in brief fashion uh, progress on all of our ministry teams. Obviously, this was an unusual year, and uh, the balance of the year, uh, the majority of the year, uh, teams were not able to meet. So uh, there wasn't as much activity to report on as we would have liked. But on that score, we are hoping that in the coming weeks and months that our activities will be able to increase and that we will have a much more active agenda here with teams meeting on a more regular basis, plans being laid for future activities, etc. But we can't do any of that uh, without you. And so uh, take this as yet one more invitation to get involved with our teams. There are many, many opportunities uh, to get involved. So um, again, I want to thank you for your support of this church during this unusual time. We continue to be doing well, and our hope is on the future. Uh, a very positive future. So until we uh, are able to meet with you again, may God bless you and I hope that you are well.